So I did my two live models. I'm sorry if they were cut short. Um, both of my clients um, could not hold the the tablet that we have at the salon anymore. Um, but I felt like it got a good enough view of what needed to be done. Um, like in my uh, papers, I just had to do the top section, which took me another 10 minutes, I think. Um, I was 10 or 15 minutes. I think I was sitting right about 45 minutes for um, right above the occipital up um, and doing a full coverage. And then the other one, you saw the whole um, doing the roots and pulling it through the ends. Um, I know that that was not a technically a decolorizer, but it was a color correction. Um, but the decolorizer, I know, um, is you use lightener, developer, and water, and you can do it at the shampoo bowl, or you can do it at your chair, and you apply. You'd be very careful. You wouldn't want to get it on the roots or on the scalp. Um, as best as you can, but get close enough to the root to get it all. Um, however, um, I didn't get to show any end results, and so for my first color, what I did is she came in extremely, extremely light and coppery, um, and we were doing copper on it before, and it just kept fading. It wasn't, um, not fading, like the color was still there, but it just got lighter over time just because uh, my grandmother does go a period of time um, without coming in, but also she shampoos every day and I'm getting her on that gen uh, genie wash, genius wash. Um, but anyways, I wanted to show you the end results. So the first one was the decolorizer color correction and this was the end result. Um, this and this was my beginning stage and I know it looks a little bit darker in the camera. I'm really sorry, I'll show you at work. Um, but what she had is she probably had about three-fourths to an inch of outgrowth. And she is 50% gray. And then her ends were um, a level 7, like copper. Um, I forget the color that we were using. Um, but what I decided to do is I needed to counteract that copper in there. So I decided to, first for her roots, I needed to keep some of the warmth, um, but I wanted to cool it down. So I used a, um, my first, my roots was gels because I needed the gray coverage. And I used 6NB and 4NB because we wanted to also bump down a level to be more like, um, the darker gray that she has in her hair, so a little bit more on the natural side. Um, and so what we did was we did the 6NB, the 4NB, and we did 20 volume for gray coverage. Um, and, uh, and then for her ends, I did 6N with clear. I did, um, 3 4 6N, 1 4 clear, and let that process for 20 minutes. I'm not kidding Heidi, it was literally seamless. Both things matched. The reason I chose the 6NBs and the 4NB for the roots was because it had a violet in there so it had a little bit of that blue to keep it cooler. Um, well, keep it kind of toned. Um, but there's a red in there also so to put a little bit of that warmth and to be able to cover her gray and anchor it a little bit more. And with the 6N, just because she did have so much copper on the bottom, um, I needed a blue to counteract that so I chose an N which in shades is uh, underlining or the background is a blue violet. Um, my second color that I did was that full highlight. Um, it is a little bit darker in this camera but um, this was her last service and she decided that she wanted to be a blonde so we are working on getting to her to a blonde. She does know it's going to take more than one or two visits to get her blonde, but she totally understands and she was very happy with the strawberry blonde that she left with. Um, I did do, not a full highlight, but um, I it was occipital and above. Um, she wanted to keep the bottom, she wanted to grow out the color that she had on the bottom and 
keep that dark and then everything on top blonde. But what I did is I used Flash Lift with 30 volume and Olaplex. Um, and what I figured out with that when she lifted, we have done a vibrant red like this or even just a brown red or a copper red for the last two years and she's decided that she now wants to be a blonde well she had between her outgrowth and the previous color we kept getting a demarcation line um, and it would break up to a level like eight but um, it was a really really soft like pink from the red that she had uh, So when I rinsed her out and she was ready, <coughs> um, I did go ahead and tone her, which got her to an absolutely gorgeous strawberry blonde, which she was perfectly okay with. Um, I used on the roots because the roots were a, you know, level nine yellow. So um, I did an NB. I wanted to add a little bit of warmth to them just because we knew we were going to get to more of a strawberry. Um, so I needed some of that warmth in the roots to match the ends a little bit. So I used a ANB um, with a little bit of clear so that, so that it could f sit for the full 20 minutes. Sorry, I cannot talk. And then for the ends, we toned with a 08GN. Um, with a little bit of clear just so it didn't go too dark or grab too quick because I with how pink she was we needed it to sit um, So that's what I did to get the color that I am at now. Oh my gosh. I'm in love with the GN I was so scared, but I did it um, And I love it. So that was the end results of both of my live models um, And obviously my mom really enjoyed taking a picture of her with all the papers in her hair, but yeah, so I can definitely show you those when I get to work, but I just wanted to kind of recap on those.